Hey guys, welcome back to JLake3D. So as you can see here, we have a Transformers leg or shoe, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this is basically a reverse engineering with mods uh, piece. We have a uh, ball and socket piece here. That That's actually the reason why we're doing this tutorial. I'm going to show you how to make a ball and socket. So as you can see here, it fits in really well. And I know this obviously works because it's based on the toy. And I've tested the 3D print uh, so that all these things work properly. And let's just get right into it, all right? So we started a new project. We go to the top plane and we need to start out with a circle sketch. So let's go ahead and make this, let's do 50 millimeters uh, just to make uh, our counting easier. And right off the bat, since we know what we're doing, I know a couple things I need to do. For example, we need to offset this by let's do four millimeters which is a good size i think for a 50 millimeter ball because it's thick enough where it actually would work and at the same time flexible enough where we can use it and we need to split this down the middle we can use a line and once we have this we're going to plan ahead and just go ahead and select everything and revolve it by using the move tool copy and revolve it by 90 degrees not revolve but turn it uh, and now that we have that we can go ahead and select these two pieces and extrude it down by 25 plus 4 is 29 29 mil uh, let's do sometimes it switches sides for some reason but uh, now that we have that we also technically need to do that for the other side but not all the way so what we can do here is move it over just enough to where you can see the ball start to curl and you know that will hold it in place without letting it fall out right so in this case let's go ahead and make that a numerical thing so let's go ahead and tools extrude select these pieces just so i can have an exact number and how much is it going to be let's do 15 that's a good number all right done once we have that let's go ahead and hide our body and tools revolve the circle around the center axis and then unhide our other body and subtract the ball from this thing the ball and then hide our ball we don't need it for the moment and as you can see now, we have this little socket where the ball would fit. But at this moment, it currently will, as you put it in place, fall back out really easily. So let's just go ahead and up front, we can tools extrude this piece by another, well, let's see, by 10, just to make it an exact fit for the ball. There we go. That's perfection because this is basically 50 mil, just like the ball. If you look from the top, you can see there this edge. And uh, so once we have that, we need to make the things that actually hold it in place, right? So we can extrude this piece by another 25. to make it to the top and then once we have that let's let's go ahead and make that a new body because i want to still hide it for a second uh, while we're going to make the little clips that hold it in place right so what we could do is go to this face right here uh, select rectangle and let's make it at least 10 we can we could probably make go bigger but since it's held on all sides 10 is enough and uh, we go ahead and select these pieces and extrude it up by let's say another 10. All right, and we actually want that face to match there. So let's go ahead and tools split body. Since we're in the center, this makes our job way easier. And let's go ahead and tools replace face like that. There we go. And uh, once we have that, we can technically union them back together so that we don't forget later. Um, and since it did that, it's, it's actually fine. But if you really wanted to separate it, you can obviously use split body again and just select this face 
and it'll separate that piece. But that doesn't really matter in our case. We go back to the ball, and then we tools subtract from this body, the ball, obviously. And then we don't need this specific ball anymore. I'll just tell you why in a second. We delete it. But we have this piece now, which basically holds the ball in place, right? Uh, but we need to also uh, unhide that body that we had before. And we need to transform mirror this little piece down the center. All right, so now we have it on both sides. And this is acts like the clip that holds it in place. So now we union this piece and this piece to these pieces. And now we can go in there and uh, smooth out the edges. That way, once how it enters is gonna be a smooth thing, but not too much, that way it still holds it in place. So let's do 0.5 and then on the sides, I'm gonna do it as well just to make it an easier transition for the walls. But this is gonna be a bit smaller at, uh, actually we can probably do 0.5 as well. So once we have this, we can go ahead and work on our ball. So let's go ahead and union these pieces before we go. And again, you can make this any height you wanted but I just made it like that just for your reference. You can update it as needed. But uh, now go ahead into sketch mode and we have this sketch again and we need to offset for the tolerance, right? So we select that inner circle and we go off by about 0.25. Uh, we could do less or more depending on the tolerance of whatever manufacturing process you're using. But now that we have that, we go ahead and go to tools, revolve, we select that ball, revolve it around the center, and we have this piece. And then obviously we, we can also add, while we're here, the stem for it, right? Let's make it 25, All right? And we can uh, exit sketch mode and use this sketch and make this a union piece and then extrude this up by let's say, uh, 25 and now we essentially have something that is very similar to the other one that i showed you in the beginning and then the only thing we're missing now is if we hide this thing we need to make a gap for the air because if you have no air you're going to get stuck right so we make a rectangle let's go ahead and make it by 4 by 25 and then just simply select it from both sides and extrude it down. And this will be like this slot that lets the air out so the ball can move freely and yet can still move without getting uh, you know, vacuumed, vacuum sealed. All right, let's go ahead and hide those sketches and show our ball again. Let's hide that last sketch. And then uh, we're gonna change the color just so we can see what's actually going on here. Let's make it transparent and let's make this thing a nicer looking gray. All right, so let's go back to modeling. And if we go to the face here, well, we can't really use section view unless we put up a little wall there. So let's let's make a wall here. I know section view needs some updating so we can move it as needed because like this is a really manual process at the moment, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, we actually need that sketch to be closed. So let's go ahead and just do it this way. This is going to be easier. All right, select this move tool and ro rotate it by 90 degrees. You can obviously make a plane as well, but I find sketches to be easier most of the time. Uh, okay, so we have this section view. And we can see that our ball has a small tolerance, but at the same time, if we move this, for example, transform, move this to approximately over here, we can now reduce section view and we can see that it holds it in place from falling out because the center point of the ball is here, right? So if it's trying to go up, it won't be able to because of this thing but because 
these walls are thin enough to be flexible, once you're putting this ball in, it will clip in like a normal clip, but everything works. Okay, so hope you guys enjoyed following along and learned something along the way. Uh, I basically did this tutorial because I had a question from a user who wanted to find out how it's done. And this is basically how you do it. Hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Here at JLake 3 d our goal is to inspire and empower you to create your own amazing projects. Please support our work so that we can keep doing it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to see more.